Alrighty, here we've got Witch Rise. we been playing Xbox Series X, Curse of Relic Games. Uh, this is one of uh, Light Up's uh, most recent titles available now on all major platforms. So in this game you play as a, as a witch who's been turned into a pig uh, by a fallen witch and now it's up to you to find the four scepters in order to um, bring you back to your human form. And um, so the game has you picking up a sword the sword, and you can get the uh, staffs or scepters to utilize those weapons as you find them. Um, the game is broken up in several different rooms. If I hit the B button here, I'm going to get my map. This will give you an idea um, of uh, where you are on the map. It will also um, give you a layout of how large of an area you have to go through. Um, I like the uh, I, I, I like the graphics. Um, uh, it's very uh, on brand for a lot of games. Um, a lot of the titles are, are graphically uh, pleasing um, and pixelated, and look really good. Um, what I don't care for is um, even on easy how hard it sometimes is to take down the enemies, uh, especially if you have more than one that you're facing. Um, it takes a lot of hits to kill them, and sometimes when you get hit, you'll be turned around to the point where you'll be behind them and they'll be taking you out, and you'll have to turn around real quick and try to dispatch them. Um, another thing I don't really care for is the fact that uh, the orientation of the map. Um, so it doesn't center. So if you come into an area and you try to get to a particular room let's try to backtrack right because you have to do a lot of backtracking you'll go through a, a room only to feel like oh i'm going the right way and you're not uh you go in the complete opposite direction because you're going through the wrong door because the map is oriented in such a way where it's it's kind of disorienting um and that's kind of unfortunate because this is a really fun uh first person genuine calling rpg that is really kind of hindered by one, the way the enemies um, uh, interact with you, and two, with the map being just. I'm not going to say it's broken because it's not broken. It's just, like I said, disorienting. Um, I wish it would center. I wish that there was maybe a better map system uh, than what's here. Uh, because, again, if you. Um, See, I'm going the right direction now because I've been playing this game for so long that I realize <laughs> where typically where I need to go. But uh, yeah, that's not always the case when you first start out. Um, you don't have an idea of where of where you're headed, where you need to go, um, and it can be it can be very disorienting. But graphically, again, the game is is looks great, the, the sound's great. Um, it is fun going from room to room, taking down the enemies. I just wish the combat was better. Uh, and again, that map. The map really kind of kind of ruins the experience for you if you don't, don't uh, if you're expecting it. So, I, I'd say uh, give this game a shot. Um, if you do find it frustrating, maybe come back to it. Um, and just understand that you know, the map is the way that it is. And, uh, <laughs> It is a decent game despite its 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 flaws for sure. Um, I'm in there over here. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.